Hi. Oh. Grandma, Grandma Alert. Your granny's here to teach you about sex, bitch. She's a sexy granny and she loves to fuck. Okay. Don't smoke, kids. Take it from one who knows. It is a battle of incredibly intense proportions that you do not want, that you don't want to fuss with if you don't have to. That's a teacher-student thing. So tonight's the lesson. I said I was going to do something on Tuesday, and it's Tuesday. Uh, I'm not a total flake. And then, so I'm I'm in woman mode because we had the our event tonight. It was a rousing rendition of. Leo Tardation. Mm -hmm. Leo Tards, mama. Leo Tarded. And then, it was a circus and a free for all in a, in a zoo of loveliness. Oof. It was so good. So fun. So fun. It wasn't too hot. I was so stressed out. It was hot in there. And I wish they could change the, make it cooler. But whatever. So, it was just lovely. A girl, uh, a girl came from, let's talk about it girl came from London, Northeast London, and her name was L, like the letter, or like L Woods from Legally Blonde, Burgess. And that's true. Fun. Fun to remember the facts when you smoke wacky weed, because sometimes our memories can go to can go to shit, and that's not good. Oh, there we go. I looked great tonight, and I still do. Pretty good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then... We have, we had a little unofficial after party on your mom's huge ass, which is located on the corner of your mom and your, your, her ass. And it was lovely. Beautiful night. Los Angeles is lit, crunk, and turnt. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you don't think those words are funny, because I do. Smoking is so bad. Don't do it. When you're wearing a wig, it looks so good, though. Fuck. Feels good, too. I'm going to take you on a tour of the neighborhood. This is lesson number one. Lessons in math from your, your good Judy Kath. Number one, the truth about moms and dads, cats and dogs. So if you've seen the movie, The Truth About Cats and Dogs, you know, it's a cockroach. It's Uma Thurman, Janine Garofalo, who's awesome, and two other guys. And they make a statement about men and women. I can't remember what it is. It doesn't really matter. But it got me thinking about masculine and feminine because of course you can have two moms or two dads but you have to have feminine energy and masculine energy this by the way is for um the target audience here is 12 years of age to 16. so if i should have mentioned that right at the beginning <coughs> so if you're two if you're uh whatchamacallit if you're younger that's fine that's great actually hello if you can pay attention for more than three seconds bravo um but if you're over the age of 16, this is not, this is kind of old news. But for kids, if you have a mom and a mom, that is very different than a mom and a dad. Let's not get that twisted. But we learn now that gender is not about sex. Gender expression is related to sex, but it is not, but it is so influenced by social stuff, social norms, social, social mores, all that sociology crap you learn in college. So it's perfectly reasonable to imagine a man wearing a dress. Perfectly reasonable. In fact, many cultures do it. It's just, ugh. we as Americans have a particularly virulent form of masculinity that other nations don't have because we have what? Guns, bitch. So when men's dicks are weaponized, we know that happens now with all the rapers. When um, the military is, um, what's the word? The military is, no, when the, when the police are militarized, that's when you know fascism is possible. And so all of these signs point to, like, men, 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 men. Men are the problem. Men are changing, but it is only just beginning. And I think, well, if you're 12 to 16, it doesn't, I shouldn't scare you and say that they're never going to change. But could happen, significant change could happen in your lifetime. If you're between the ages of 12 and 16, men are gonna change a lot. Men will show their true colors. Like, American masculinity could perish within your lifetime. That's not a crazy statement. I'm, I'm a crazy person, so if you're listening to a man in a wig, it, listen, that's a disclaimer right there. But, 
So the truth about cats and dogs, the truth about moms and dads, that's going to be the first lesson of the after school program. And I want to hear from people, if you have two moms, tell me what it's like. If you have two dads, what's that all about? Um, how are your, um, your peers in school, if you're 12 to 16, I don't know what grade you're in, probably fucking nine or something. What are some comments you hear from your peers, stuff like that? Um, I don't, if, if people who are o over the age of 18 and just telling jokes in the comments, I'm not going to listen to, I'm not even going to look at them. I have been able to, I have, a, I'm a fucking ninja at phasing out text that doesn't concern me. I, I am, bitch, that is the only thing I'm good at <laughs> online. It's like a razor robotic focus that identifies things that are relevant to me, uh, depending on my mood, depending on my energy level, depending on what I have to do that day, depending on what I'm looking for. I mean, it goes deep and hard and vicious. So, but there's, nobody understands except maybe Chrissy Teigen who's on Twitter all the time. Too. Oh, yeah. um, so, okay, so anyway, so that's the key. Interesting straight women are passing me, Bob. I'm scared. So, um, the truth about Casa, so the after school special, everybody thinks this is a joke, which it probably is, but it also might happen for real. Um, I am going to do in Burbank. If you are a child between the ages of 12 and 16, that's a small range. I, the, the, the studio can only hold a few people. It literally just will be like, if anybody wants to have half an hour, 45 minutes of thoughtful discussion in a mostly playful manner. I mean, we're really just going to shoot the shit and it's going to be fun. And there'll be light refreshments. And um, also there'll be topics. I am not doing a goddamn syllabus. I hated school. I loved school and I also hated school. I, if I ever see a syllabus, I will burn it to the ground. I will have it notarized and then sent to hell, straight to hell. <coughs> but after, we'll, I mean, we're literally going to like, do, we're going to meditate, bitch. Every, every motherfucker on the planet needs to meditate literally yesterday. I, I am such a fool. I've been doing yoga for 10 to 15 years. And only now am I realizing the true power of meditation. It is, it is worth screaming about. It is worth sounding corny about. It is worth um, losing friends about. I mean, it's nuts. Meditation works. It, it, and it, there's, it works so good you don't even have to explain it. Because it's the simplest thing if you think about it for literally two minutes. It is just about... Well, I'm not going to bore you with details. Just sit down and do it. Sit down and shut the fuck up three minutes. That's the Jasmine Masters challenge. I would like to propose an amendment to her if she would allow it. The Jasmine Masters three-minute meditation challenge. We do it in her honor because she gets that. <laughs> she gets her jersey so that we may get our jersey. <laughs> That's not a joke, actually. Um, I'm a woman. I'm keeping it real. I'm being faked. All that stuff. You fake-ass bitch. This is the true pinnacle of American modern narcissism. I left the party so I could photograph myself on video. Got a lot of wise things to say. Got to take myself super seriously. So, uh, speaking of seriously, yes. Um, it's uh, the after school program. I want to start it in December. So, I have to. you guys have to help me figure out. We'll get you to Burbank. Um, only 20 of you, so there has to be some kind of lottery raffle. Open to suggestions about that. I'll listen to the comments because logistically, you realize it's a tough thing to do. L limited space, all that crap. Plus, it's only, it's inconsistent, which is tough, because I like, when I took gymnastics, it, the fact that it was every Tuesday, every Thursday, no matter what, was very important. So, the schedule will be maybe three months. Three months little thingy. I think that'll be fun. It'll be cheap. It's going to be a donation base to kind of get to know. I live in Los Angeles, but I don't really live in Los Angeles. I don't, like, have, I don't, I only have one cool neighbor to my right, and then other people have been killed. There was a meth girl. How about this as a sign? There was a fucking meth that had killed in our floor. That's the truth. It's on the, it was on the news. He was gunned down. And Fina was in the goddamn... She could tell... Listen, wait. We do the podcast in January. She's going to tell you the whole fucking... Okay, Sam's calling. I got to go. Sam Wheat, say it. Sam Wheat, Sam Wheat. Okay, more info to come on the after school program having in Burbank, uh, Burbank, north of Los Angeles. Um, probably on a Tuesday, but it'll be a, as much a one month to three month kind of like a little after school thing. I really want to do it, so you have to do it, bitch. That's the real deal. And oh, very important. No, um, well, it's not super important, but I prefer um, girls, sissies, dykes. Um, uh, I'm a non threatening. It's a whole big story, but I, I don't want to like. I want to have it a girls only kind of thing. I'm so sick of this boy, you know, the boys club bullshit. So boys can shut the fuck up. If you are really, really interested, maybe we'll let you in. I don't know. But I'm a man and I'm not raping any girls in my life. That's the truth. So 
I want parents to know that their kids are absolutely fucking safe with me. I will not smoke cigarettes around them. They, you know, all that crap. Anyways, um, have a lovely night. Tonight was such a success. I'm so happy and proud of me and Trixie. I seriously am. I'm not afraid of it. I'm not afraid of being embarrassed about that. And have a lovely night. So I'll, I'll put a flyer up on Instagram about what when the thing is actually happening, when it's set in stone. Okay, bye.